Hey everybody, welcome to DIY Music. Today we're gonna make finger cymbals. I love finger cymbals because they have a really cool, unique sound. And they look like little mini cymbals. They're little tiny cymbals. But they have a really bright sound and they were used for dancing in the Middle East. And they could have been used in dance as religious music or for magical purpose or in times of victory. Ancient Greeks also played metal finger cymbals, either one held in each hand or two in each hand. In Turkey, as early as the 15th century, dancers were playing metal finger cymbals or wood clappers. Today, people play metal finger cymbals and sometimes wooden spoons as well. Are you ready to make some finger cymbals? Let's make some finger cymbals. Today, we're gonna to make finger cymbals. I have cardboard, I've got some glue, I have scissors, and I have several different types of ways that we can make the clicking noise. So we're gonna try with pennies. All right, so I'm gonna just take this cardboard box, kind of pull it apart. And the cool thing about cardboard boxes, they already have lines from the creases of where they've been folded. So I'm simply just gonna cut wherever I see a crease and then I'll use those scraps to make our finger symbol. All right, that should be enough. I'm gonna toss this to the side. I'm gonna work with this piece here. So I'm going to grab a pencil and draw my shape for the finger symbol. I'm going to make these round. I'm gonna measure, I'm gonna make, go ahead and measure this out to about, I'm gonna say about five inches. Just give myself a little bit more, cause I got adult hands. Um, a smaller size might work for you, but this is the size I think I'm gonna try. So now I'm gonna take shape again. I measured at five inches this time. I'm just going to cut around. All the way around. And make sure you get guardian supervision when using scissors or sharp objects. Just make sure you got somebody to help you out. Okay. So that's my first shape. And eventually I'm going to want to Fold it in half, but we're not there yet. Okay, I want to take this same shape and I'm going to trace over this so I know exactly what I need to match. Have both of my finger symbols match. Cut the second one. Now I got two. Thank you. Okay, so I'm gonna take a penny, it's gonna go here, and I'm gonna put one here as well. So to secure these, we're gonna need to do what? Glue them down, so let's glue them down. Okay, so we actually have four pennies, scissors, cardboard, a ruler, and glue to make our finger symbols because we need two pennies for each hand. So for four cents, we are going to make finger symbols. Do we want to decorate these first? I think we should take a shot. Why not? This is DIY music where we encourage creativity. So I am going to grab a marker. If you have a crayon or a marker, you're welcome to do either. If you have crayons, I'll join you too. I'll get some crayons out here. These crayons are courtesy of Conscious Kids Network. Dot com. Ooh, there's another crayon in here. Boom. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So, all right, I'm going to just draw um, some designs on the outside of our finger symbols. Uh, traditionally, a lot of them have different etchings on the outside 
of the symbol, usually there's like a lot of designs on the edge, which are really cool. So let's try and implement some of those, some of those looks and we'll create our own. So I'm just going to create a little pattern on mine. And you can do whatever pattern you want. Gonna kind of just put mine on the edge. So I got a little design going here. I'm just gonna fill it in with some colors. What are some things you can do? with yours. I like using crayons on cardboard because cardboard lets you, the surface is really good for the crayon to just really get a lot of coverage. So um, typically I like to use markers, but I think with cardboards, the marker ink absorbs in the cardboard. It seems like you have to use a lot more than you really need. So I'm just gonna use crayons. This time, if you have paint, you're welcome to use paint. If you have fabric, which I don't know how fabric would be, um, you're welcome to use that or construction paper. Get creative with how you decorate your instrument. In this case, our finger symbols. What's the other word for finger symbols from Turkey? Zills. Yes, who knows how to spell it? Who remembers how to spell zills? Yeah, let's take a shot. Z. What's the next letter? I L L S. Zills. Otherwise known as finger symbols. Okay, so I've got that going, and I'm going to add another color on the edge. I, orange is my favorite color, so I'm just going to do the edges in orange. Awesome. There's one. Let's do another one. Even though it's the same color palette, I'm just gonna change them out because I like I like doing things that are different. Sometimes I get bored. And that's the good thing about creating and doing art, especially music is there's not a lot of rules when it comes to creating it yourself. It's all about creative expression and what makes you what makes you feel good. So that's my orange in the middle and then this time I'm going to put my red on the outside this time. Okay, so now this time I'm not going to really worry about the inside too much because you don't really see them. Um, but if you want to um, add color on the inside just because you know, you're creative like that, you're welcome to. There's no rules. Let's go ahead and do that. I'll add color on the inside too, and I'll put my orange on the inside of this one. The table's shaking. I'm coloring too hard. All right, let's add our pennies. You want heads or tails? Okay, let's do heads on this one. We'll do tails on this one. So I'll go ahead and position these. So these are tails, and then I'll do heads on my left. I'm going to take my glue, and I'm just simply going to glue one side of my penny. If you have tape, you can use tape. Put that on the end. So ideally, though, we want to make sure that they meet together. So I kind of did it too soon, but you really should 
fold them first to make sure that they line up. So I'm just going to fold it just to make sure I did I did get it there. But next time, make sure you fold it first. We'll do that with the other one. But here we go. There's one. Let's do the other one. So let's go ahead and fold it. I'm going to take the outside, flip it over, and I'm just going to fold them together and put a little crease on the back. I'm going to open it up. So now I know a little bit better where to put my penny right up here. And you can even mark it. You can close it and take a pencil or a pen if you want and just kind of eye it like that. And then see if we can make sure that lines up. That should work. So now I'm going to put my penny down. I'm going to throw some glue right here or on the penny so we know exactly where it goes. And again, you can use tape too if you don't have glue. We said tails, didn't we? Oh, let me flip it over. Tails. All right. I am going to go ahead and put some tape on here. And because I don't want to mess with the sound, I'm actually going to take this tape and I'm going to roll it so that the sticky parts on both outside and inside, I'm going to put this right underneath my penny. If you don't have glue, I'm just demonstrating what else you can do if you don't have glue. And then you have, and then it'll stay that way too. Okay. Awesome. Check it out. Cool. So experiment with some different finger patterns. What are some different finger patterns that we can do together? Let's try left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Keep going. Keep going. Fast. A tempo. So what's tempo? How slow or fast a music or beat is moving. So let's go faster. Can we go faster? Here we go. Five, six. Let's go faster. Can we go faster than this? Are you sure? Okay. Here we go. Five, six, seven, go. Have fun with your finger symbols.